Now there were some Greeks among those who were going up to worship at the feast. These then came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida of Galilee, and began to ask him, saying, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. And then Philip came and told Andrew, and Andrew and Philip came and told Jesus. And Jesus answered them, saying, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Truly, truly, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. He who loves his life loses it, and he who hates his life in this world will keep it to life eternal. If anyone serves me, he must follow me. And where I am, there my servant will be also. If anyone serves me, the Father will honor him. Now my soul has become troubled. And what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. But for this purpose, I came to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came out of heaven. I have both glorified it and will glorify it again. So the crowd of people who stood by and heard it were saying it had thundered. Others were saying an angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered and said, this voice has not come for my sake, but for your sakes. Now judgment is upon this world. Now the ruler of this world will be cast out. And I, if I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all men to myself. But he was saying this to indicate the kind of death by which he was to die. The crowd then answered him, We have heard out of the law that Christ is to remain forever. And how can you say the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is this Son of Man? So Jesus said to them, For a little while longer the light is among you. Walk while you have the light, so that darkness will not overtake you. He who walks in the darkness does not know where he goes. While you have the light, believe in the light, so that you may become sons of the light. No doubt your heart and soul has been troubled over the last few weeks. Life as we know it has changed drastically. The social distancing, not getting to see people, not going places you would usually go to, you have probably experienced some turmoil inside. You've experienced some trouble emotionally. In our reading today, Jesus let us, lets us get a glimpse of his soul and his heart. He lets us see what's on the inside and he is troubled. Over what though? Does he not want to go to the cross? Does he not want to obey the Father's will and glorify the Father? Does he not want to purchase salvation for those who believe in him? No, it's not any of that, but what Jesus is struggling inside with is the thought of being separated from God the Father. When he goes to the cross, because Jesus will bear the sin of the world in his body. You see, two things Jesus does not like, sin and what sin does, which separates us from God. Surely, you have felt the feeling of separation in some way recently. Let that give you a taste today of what sin does between us and God. You see, Jesus willingly goes to the cross for us so we don't have to be separated from the Father, but instead we can have a relationship with Him.